The tragic tour bus accident that occurred while descending from Hentang Highlands on Saturday, June 29, has raised significant concerns about road safety and regulatory compliance in Malaysia. This incident resulted in the deaths of two Chinese tourists and left several others injured. The accident took place early Saturday morning when a tour bus carrying 21 people overturned while navigating the steep and winding roads of Hentang Highlands. The bus lost control and crashed, leading to the devastating accident. The victims included three locals and 18 Chinese nationals, consisting of seven women and 11 men. Tragically, Zhang Ping, 58, and Wang Shuhong, 49, both Chinese nationals, lost their lives in the accident. They suffered severe head injuries and were pronounced dead at the scene. Their bodies were subsequently sent to Bentong Hospital, Pahang. The driver of the bus, a 32-year-old man, has been identified as having a troubling history of traffic violations. Bentong Police Chief Superintendent Zayam Mohamed Kahar confirmed that the driver did not possess a valid driving license at the time of the accident. Furthermore, he had an alarming record of 27 summonses for various traffic offenses, primarily for driving without a valid license. Among the violations, the driver had been previously cited for running a red light, being involved in an accident, and driving without a valid road tax. Following the accident, the driver has been remanded for four days, until Wednesday, July 3rd, pending investigations under Section 41.1 of the Road Transport Act 1987. This section deals with causing death by reckless or dangerous driving, highlighting the severity of the charges the driver may face. Pahang Fire and Rescue Department Director, Datuk Dr. Wan Mohamed Zaidi Wan ISA, provided further details on the accident. He mentioned that eight victims are currently receiving treatment at Kuala Lumpur Hospital and are reported to be in stable condition. The quick response from emergency services helped manage the aftermath of this tragic incident effectively. In response to this accident, the Tourism, Arts, and Culture Ministry has announced that it would temporarily suspend the license of the travel agency involved in the crash if investigations reveal noncompliance with Standard Operating Procedures, SOPs. Minister Datuk Seri Tayong King Singh emphasized the gravity of the situation, stating that a comprehensive investigation is underway. This investigation will include scrutinizing the travel agency and its subsidiary to determine if there were any breaches of SOPs. Minister Tayong expressed his condolences to the victims and their families and assured the public that if the tour company were found to be at fault, their license would be revoked immediately. He also highlighted that the passengers were on a six-day trip in Malaysia and had to change buses three times during their journey, indicating potential poor maintenance and logistical issues. A special meeting between the Tourism, Arts, and Culture Ministry and the Transport Ministry is scheduled for Tuesday, July 2. This meeting aims to discuss the incident in detail and review the standard operating procedures for tour companies and buses under the Transport Ministry, particularly those managed by the Road Transport Department. The objective is to ensure that such tragic incidents do not recur and that stricter enforcement of road safety regulations is implemented. Minister Tayong also visited the crash victims at Kuala Lumpur Hospital, accompanied by the Chinese ambassador to Malaysia, Ouyang Yujing. During the visit, he reiterated the ministry's commitment to thoroughly investigating the incident and holding the responsible parties accountable. He apologized to all the victims involved in the accident and assured them and their families that justice would be served. This tragic incident underscores the need for rigorous enforcement of road safety regulations and thorough vetting of drivers and travel agencies. It serves as a somber reminder of the potential consequences of neglecting these critical aspects of road safety. The public and relevant authorities must work together to ensure that the safety of passengers is always the top priority. We invite you to share your thoughts and comments on this incident. Do you think the regulatory bodies are doing enough to ensure road safety? What measures do you believe should be implemented to prevent such tragedies in the future? Your opinions matter to us. Please like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more detailed news coverage and updates on this and other important stories. Thank you for watching and stay safe.